In mathematics, the axiom of regularity is an axiom of zamello frankel set theory that states that every non-empty set A contains an element that is disjoint from A. In first-order logic the axiom reads, the axiom implies that no set is an element of itself, and that there is no infinite sequence such that I plus 1 is an element of I for all I. With the axiom of dependent choice, this result can be reversed. If there are no such infinite sequences, then the axiom of regularity is true. Hence, the axiom of regularity is equivalent, given the axiom of dependent choice, to the alternative axiom that there are no downward infinite membership chains. The axiom of regularity was introduced by von Neumann. It was adopted in a formulation closer to the one found in contemporary textbooks by Zermelo. Virtually all results in the branches of mathematics based on set theory hold even in the absence of regularity. See Chapter 3 of Kuhnen. However, regularity makes some properties of ordinals easier to prove, and it not only allows induction to be done on well-ordered sets but also on proper classes that are well-founded relational structures such as the lexicographical ordering on given the other axioms of zimelo frankel set theory. The axiom of regularity is equivalent to the axiom of induction. The axiom of induction tends to be used in place of the axiom of regularity in intuitionistic theories, where the two axioms are not equivalent. In addition to omitting the axiom of regularity, non-standard set theories have indeed postulated the existence of sets that are elements of themselves. Elementary implications of regularity no set is an element of itself let A be a set, and apply the axiom of regularity to A, which is a set by the axiom of pairing. We see that there must be an element of A, which is disjoint from A. Since the only element of A is A, it must be that A is disjoint from A. So, since A, A, we cannot have A A. No infinite descending sequence of sets exists suppose, to the contrary, that there is a function, f, on the natural numbers with f an element of f for each n. Define s equals f, n a natural number, the range of f, which can be seen to be a set from the axiom schema of replacement. Applying the axiom of regularity to s, let b be an element of s which is disjoint from s. By the definition of S, B must be F for some natural number K. However, we are given that F contains F which is also an element of S. So F is in the intersection of F and S. This contradicts the fact that they are disjoint sets. Since our supposition led to a contradiction, there must not be any such function. The non-existence of a set containing itself can be seen as a special case where the sequence is infinite and constant. Notice that this argument only applies to functions f that can be represented as sets as opposed to undefinable classes. The hereditarily finite sets, v omega, satisfy the axiom of regularity. So if one forms a non-trivial ultrapower of v omega, then it will also satisfy the axiom of regularity. The resulting model will contain elements, called non-standard natural numbers that satisfy the definition of natural numbers in that model but are not really natural numbers. They are fake natural numbers which are larger than any actual natural number. This model will contain infinite descending sequences of elements. For example, suppose n is a non-standard natural number, then n, and so on, for any actual natural number k. This is an unending descending sequence of elements. But this sequence is not definable in the model and thus not a set, so no contradiction to regularity can be proved. Simpler set theoretic definition of the ordered pair The axiom of regularity enables defining the ordered pair as A, A, B. See ordered pair for specifics. This definition eliminates one pair of braces from the canonical Kuratowski definition equals A, A, B. Every set has an ordinal rank. This was actually the original form of on Newman's axiomatization. For every two sets, only one can be an element of the other. Let X and Y be sets. Then apply the axiom of regularity to the set X, Y. We see there must be an element of X, Y, which is also disjoint from it. 
it must be either x or y. By the definition of disjoint then, we must have either y is not an element of x or vice versa. The axiom of dependent choice and no infinite descending sequence of sets implies regularity. Let the non-empty set S be a counterexample to the axiom of regularity, that is, every element of S has a non-empty intersection with S. We define a binary relation R on S by, which is entire by assumption. Thus, by the axiom of dependent choice, there is some sequence in S satisfying n run plus 1 for all n in n. As this is an infinite descending chain, we arrive at a contradiction and so, no such S exists. Regularity and the rest of ZF axioms Regularity was shown to be relatively consistent with the rest of ZF by Skolem and von Neumann, meaning that if ZF without regularity is consistent, then ZF is also consistent. For his proof in modern notation see Vought for instance. The axiom of regularity was also shown to be independent from the other axioms of ZF, assuming they are consistent. The result was announced by Paul Bernays in 1941, although he did not publish a proof until 1954. The proof involves Riga Bernays permutation models, which were used for other proofs of independence for non-well-founded systems. Regularity and Russell's Paradox Naive set theory is inconsistent due to Russell's paradox. Set theorists have avoided that contradiction by replacing the axiom schema of comprehension with the much weaker axiom schema of separation. However, this makes set theory too weak, so some of the power of comprehension was added back via the other existence axioms of ZF set theory which may be regarded as special cases of comprehension. So far, these axioms do not seem to lead to any contradiction. Subsequently, the axiom of choice and the axiom of regularity were added to exclude models with some undesirable properties. These two axioms are known to be relatively consistent. In the presence of the axiom schema of separation, Russell's paradox becomes a proof that there is no set of all sets. The axiom of regularity also prohibits such a universal set, however this prohibition is redundant when added to the rest of ZF. If the ZF axioms without regularity were already inconsistent, then adding regularity would not make them consistent. The existence of quine atoms is consistent with the theory obtained by removing the axiom of regularity from ZFC. Various non-well-founded set theories allow safe circular sets, such as quine atoms, without becoming inconsistent by means of Russell's paradox. Regularity, the cumulative hierarchy, and types. In ZF it can be proven that the class is equal to the class of all sets. This statement is even equivalent to the axiom of regularity. From any model which does not satisfy axiom of regularity, a model which satisfies it can be constructed by taking only sets in. Herbert Enderton wrote that, the idea of rank is a descendant of Russell's concept of type. Comparing ZF with type theory, Alice Derkett wrote that Zamello's system has the notational advantage of not containing any explicitly typed variables, although in fact it can be seen as having an implicit type structure built into it, at least if the axiom of regularity is included. The details of this implicit typing are spelled out in Zamello 1930, and again in a well-known article of George Boulos, Boulos 1971, Erkit Dana Scott went further and claimed that the truth is that there is only one satisfactory way of avoiding the paradoxes, namely, the use of some form of the theory of types that was at the basis of both Russell's and Zamello's intuitions. Indeed, the best way to regard Zamello's theory is as a simplification and extension of Russell's. The simplification was to make the types cumulative, thus mixing of types is easier and annoying repetitions are avoided, once the later types are allowed to accumulate the earlier ones.
We can then easily imagine extending the types into the transfinite, just how far we want to go must necessarily be left open. Now Russell made his types explicit in his notation and Zamello left them implicit. Emphasis in original. In the same paper, Scott shows that an axiomatic system based on the inherent properties of the cumulative hierarchy turns out to be equivalent to ZF, including regularity, history. The concept of well-foundedness and rank of a set were both introduced by Dmitry Merimanov C.F., Elia Cute V.Y. and Hallett. Merimanov called a set X regular if every descending chain X X1 X2 is finite. Merimanov, however, did not consider his notion of regularity as an axiom to be observed by all sets. In later papers, Merimanov also explored what are now called non well founded sets. Scholem and von Neumann pointed out that non well founded sets are superfluous, and in the same publication, von Neumann gives an axiom which excludes some, but not all, non well founded sets. In a subsequent publication, von Neumann gave the following axiom.